we're going to look at the early crop of a pastillier. This version is from Rain Tree Nursery. This was planted in 2017, a tree that really stays compact naturally. And one that's always been in my top five figs. So we're in the Phoenix, Arizona climate. Um, we've been pretty warm here. Seen temperatures in the high 90s and even hundreds here in May. And this is the first one to ripen up of this variety. Uh, the fig is weighing up at 31 grams, so definitely quite a bit heavier than main crop. So closer look at this fig, uh, you can see it's a purple flesh. An interesting characteristic on this one is that the figs actually have a fuzzy skin to them, which is pretty unusual for a fig. Um, one thing I do really like about this one is you can see it's a closed eye. The flesh on the inside is pretty unique to this one. On the skin it's very thin, almost like tissue paper. This is a very juicy fig so you can see quite a bit of nectar pooling in the middle there. And you can see that the pulp on the inside is very loose. It's not thick. I've been diligent about bagging the figs in May. I haven't in the past. So this is really the first year where I've been able to taste test this fig variety on the early crop, the Breva crop. And I have to say that it's really consistent with main crop. Um, no other fig that I've tried is similar to this. It consistently produces a fig that has both a flavor and texture similar to a peach with a plum. It's extremely refreshing and juicy. Um, the, the pulp is light. If you let these get even more ripe than this fig, it'll get almost a little gelatinous in the texture. Again, if you're looking to kind of extend your fig season and get some fruit in May, this is another one that um, can produce an early crop for you and a very worthwhile variety to add to your collection in my opinion. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.